What's up YouTube? I'm Jerry for Hampang RC. Does it look like a familiar drone? Do you want to see how it flies? Stick around as we will give you details of this quad and we will test it out as well. If you are looking for an affordable RC toy for kids and you enjoy exploring places and other RC related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so that you don't miss anything. So this is the Asian E61. Let's take it out of the box. This includes a user manual. The quadcopter comes in a beautiful packaging. Yeah. So this is the quadcopter. It comes with protective guards. We have four spare props. A charging cable. and the transmitter. Let's put this aside and let us look at the quadcopter closely. This has four color options, black, red, blue, and white. This series of quadcopter has other variants. It could come with or without a camera and you can choose if you want one, two or three batteries. The battery is a 3.7 volts 250 milliamps per hour LiPo battery. Some are not happy with the proprietary battery but I like the casing of the battery because it adds more protection. You cannot interchange with other RC toys, however. So it is best to buy at least two batteries so you will not overuse the battery and not damage it easily. Another flaw in the design of the battery is that the contact points get loose after a strong crash and even when you hit the floor. The protective guards are easy to install. This is really important because this drone mainly is an indoor drone and this way you won't break anything in your living room. But in good conditions, you can still use the drone outdoors as well. This is the transmitter. They all are very intuitive and easy to learn. On the shoulder of the remote control, there is a button for automated functions. But you can find buttons on the remote control to adjust flight trim. There are clickable flight sticks and on and off switches built with a LED. This is powered with three AAA batteries. The transmitter is made out of plastic and due to its small size, it fits great in small hands as well. The buttons are placed well as well. It's just like a small version of uh, Xbox or PlayStation transmitter. The front of the drone, there are two good looking and bright headlights that can provide light so you will always know where your drone is, even in the nighttime. To bind the quadcopter, put on the quad first by pressing the power button on 
it up. Then power the transmitter on. Then push the throttle stick up and down. The usual way to bind quadcopters. To calibrate the gyros, press both stick down and right until the LED lights of the quad are blinking. The lights will stay stationary once it is calibrated. So let's take this to the sky! Yeah, yeah. This mini quadcopter is a pretty stable flyer. What I like for most of these beginner quads, you don't need any extra setup for the quad. You only have to set in the batteries in the remote control and in the quad itself. In the remote control, you will have to insert three AAA batteries and for the quad, you have to insert the LiPo batteries on the bottom side of the quad. The batteries can be charged with the USB cables that are included in the package. Due to the small size of the battery, it will usually run for about 5 minutes and it takes 30 minutes to charge it up to 100%. Mini quadcopters are usually underestimated by people, but they can be really smart and by that, I mean that they are capable of intelligent flight modes that their bigger brothers can do. Basically, a mini quadcopter is like a movie trailer. You will get a taste of how flying normal sized quad feels like, and you will know if you want or not to spend 10 times more for a quad. And that's the first good thing about this little guy. It will cost you only 11 and 83 US dollars. However, you won't get a built-in camera, but usually, in the case of such quads, the manufacturers build the quad with a 2 to 3 megapixels camera which is pretty useless. Therefore, you don't lose anything. In turn, you will have a lot of good features. The drone is very sleek looking, and I like that it has a propeller guards just in case I bump to the wall. The best thing is it is very affordable and it is a very stable flyer. Thank you for watching this video. If you have learned something today, please do hit the like button. If you have any questions regarding our featured RC toy or if you want other RC toys to be featured on this channel, please make a comment below. Make sure to subscribe for more videos just like this. See you! on the next videos.